So they passed a new law that if there's an open CPS investigation and a parent changes a child's school enrollment, they can go to jail. A parent can go to jail. Now, I don't mean there's a finding of abuse. I don't mean there's a petition filed on verified information. I don't mean anybody's sworn to it. I mean if they just get an anonymous call from a grumpy neighbor that you spanked your kid in the yard. Maybe you did or didn't. And you, who I'm telling you, people are starting to freak out about it. Somebody come knocking on your door and want to see your kids. People are starting to freak out about it. And I've had more than one family pull their kids out of school and homeschool them. Now it's a crime. Now it's a year in jail for a parent. And if you cross a state line, it's a felony. A felony. Ex parte orders, as an attorney, the things that I see, ex parte orders are the demon. The demon. I practice other kinds of law. I don't just practice family law. I do contract law. I do civil litigation. You can't go into a court in the normal case and tell a judge just on your own, just because you want to, without notifying anybody else, that you want to do something and not get the other side an opportunity to be heard. It's called due process. It's protected under our 14th Amendment. You can't go, I can't go to court and I can't say, you know, this guy's got my car and it's, I know it's my car because it's a green Chevrolet and I have a green Chevrolet and my car's missing. And so I know this guy down the street's got my car. So judge, I want an ex parte order to be able to go pick up that car and have the ignition changed so I can have my car back. No, you can't do that. But a social worker on an anonymous report on hearsay can create a false affidavit and go to court and say, I need to go get their kids and put them in the homes of strangers. Can you imagine as a grown up, as a grown up, if they came to your house and knocked on your door and said, you know what, I don't think your house is safe. I'm gonna take you as a grown up and you're gonna go with me in this car, you've never met me before, so you're gonna go with me in the car and you're gonna go live about 200 miles away with somebody else for a little while. As a grown up, what would you do? You go, oh, what the heck is going on? Can you imagine what's in the mind of a child? You know, I've, I've done a lot of family law, and I say, you know, it's so hard to take yourself back to the mind of a four-year-old when your whole world, your whole world is your parents and your kitchen and your bed and your bear, your teddy bear. That's your whole world, maybe a grandparent. You take them, it's like, it's like taking a, an, an adult and putting them on a different planet when you do that. They are never, that is trauma like you cannot imagine.